guys my name is diana welcome back to my food channel hot and ready where i share my recipes with you guys every week so let's get started so on today's menu i am going to share with you guys how i make my cream of mushroom meatball soup yup i make the meatballs from scratch from ground beef i did use um cream of mushroom one can but I also added my own little goodness and flavor and bedazzled it with a lot of flavors and veggies as I always like to do and yeah so let's get to it it is a very simple recipe um it's really creamy it's rich in flavor and it's also on the heavy side because of the creaminess to it so you don't exactly need to eat it with anything else just because it's on heavy side. But if you want to eat with something else, go ahead, be my guest. And yeah, my little one loved it, my one-year-old. And my fatty, fatty, honey boo boo, sugar boo boo loved it too. Mm-hmm, sure did. Both of them did. Okay, so let's get started. So, I am making the meatballs out of ground beef using garlic season garlic herb season sprinkle it in here mm -hmm. and then i am using minced onion sprinkle 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 and now i am using garlic pepper seasoning sprinkle 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 yep yep look at that i added parsley of course and oregano i'm adding a little bit of oil And then I'm going to add more bata bata because we're gonna cook the I am going to cook the meatballs on the stove for a little bit until they get gold. And you know until they cook properly, you know? You want a little crust to them. Look, I'm adding bata bata. Now I'm playing with the meatballs, sliding them to the right, sliding them to the left and playing with the butter butter and yeah let the meatballs cook for a few minutes on each side until they're browned and you know you do the same thing to all Swish, swish, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Look at them. They're looking good. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. And we're going to add the meatballs to the soup. Look at all that steam. Mm, mm, mm. I'm adding parsley and red pepper, you know, I like some little bit of heat. And then we're going to just flip, slide the meatballs, yep, slidey slide, slipper slide. I am going to get rid of the excessive, excessive oil to, um, just because, you know, I don't need it. So I'm heating, I'm cooking the soup, cream of mushroom soup.
I made cream of chicken soup last night and it was really good. Let me show you guys a picture. Look at this. It was really creamy and delicious. It was a little bit on the salty side compared to the um, cream of mushroom and meatball soup, but it was still good. So yeah, you know. Look how plain that looks. Watch what I'm going to do to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some jazz to it. I am adding garlic pepper to it for some flavor. Parsley. And we're just going to mix it. So it's all dancing together. The seasonings and the soup and the mushrooms in there. So now I'm adding fresh mushrooms to the meatballs. And now we're going to add the soup to the pan of meatballs. So the meatballs and the mushrooms can cook and dance together with the soup. Like I said, I am going to get rid of the excess of um, oil from the butter just because, you know, we don't need too much oil in it. It was just to cook the meatballs. So I'm just spreading the soup. Look how good that looks already. Adding more soup to the pan. Mmm. That looks so beautiful. It was so good. Like, it was very creamy and rich. Adding more parsley for the beauty. Look at that. That looks so beautiful. So now I'm adding the meatballs and the soup in a pot so it can cook on low for about 15 minutes. Adding more soup to it. Mm -hmm. I ended up adding tomatoes. You know how I am with my veggies. That looks so good. Zizzle, zizzle. Mmm. So I did end up taking out the oil out of it. Um, I drained it. So now there's not as much of oil as there was before. So it's ready to be eaten. I'm adding a little bit of Worcestershire sauce for the taste. It ended up being good with Worcestershire sauce.
Look at this bowl of soup. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy, juicy, creamy, rich. Dinner time for me. Uh huh. Okay. You guys, I'm gonna go eat this. So, thank you for watching this. And I hope you guys enjoyed your dinner if you did eat already. Let me know what you had for dinner. I would love to know. You know? See you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bye bye. <laughs> but. Thank you for following my journey. Um, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And as I always say, if you have any requests or suggestions, let me know in the comments. You can even find me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, and I respond. I sure do within minutes. And as I always say, have a blessed, blessed evening. Bye-bye. See you next time. Hey.